After being in the industry for such a long time, I've definitely learned how important it is to really take care of yourself. So that way you can give so much more back in everything you do and to everyone you meet. Money. Spirituality, health and wellness is something that I've been so passionate about from such a young age. I love constantly learning about the mind, body, spirit connection and I feel that we can really learn something from each other if we're able to share that knowledge. And I'm so excited to share with you some of the tools that have worked for me and I really hope that they will work for you too. In this series I'll be opening up my little black book of wellness to share with you all the special people and practices that have really helped me in my life. Subscribe to the Bizarre channel so you don't miss an episode. First up, how to cultivate a healthy mind. I'm super excited to introduce you to my wonderful friend, Holly Starr. Holly Starr is an intuitive energy healer. I love to do many different types of meditation and TM meditation is transcendental meditation where you get a mantra that's specifically for you and you're not allowed to tell anyone else the mantra. Meditation in general is just an incredible tool for me to just really calm my mind and help me go deep inside myself. You start to find kind of your own language with it. You know, it's just like crystals or medicines or herbs or whatever, you start to resonate towards certain ones. And I feel like meditation, I think it just keeps leading you down a deeper and deeper path to get to know the self. You really begin to create a relationship to what the self is and it's connecting into a little bit more of a universal force. I use crystals throughout my daily life and throughout my house and even in my skincare line Cora Organics because I really believe in the healing powers of crystals. So crystals have been used for thousands of years. They have incredible benefits. What's your take on crystals? I think each one has its own resonance and I think, you know, everybody has a different experience with them. I think for some people they uplift, for some people there's transformational qualities. So you were saying like amethyst, do you feel is like good to open really, the intuition? Yeah, open to the intuition and I think it's I think it's a great creative stone just because it's more of a visionary stone and I think it connects with kind of finding home, which is inside ourself, I believe. So mm -hmm. um, I think it's a great mirror for that. So every time I come in, I notice at your entry point, this huge clear crystal quartz that is um, undeniable. <laughs> like, I feel like clear quartz always has this way of just really setting a tone of positivity, higher vibration, so. When people are coming through my front door, it just, you know, it's great to kind of clear the energy and set the intention of positivity before they walk in the door. And that's why I really like having the clear quartz at the front yeah, in my house. It's a great welcoming. Another important part of my daily routine is the use of aromatherapy. Aromatherapy is the use of essential oils. Different essential oils are super helpful for your general state of well-being. One of my favorite aromatherapy oils to use is this little heart chakra aromatherapy um, blend. This oil was actually created for me by my aromatherapist. When I was going through a challenging time in my life, it really helped transform that negativity that I was feeling at the time and I carry it with me all the time now in my handbag and I put it on throughout the day on my pulse point so I put it on my wrist here and I put it behind my ears and I put it actually on my actual like heart chakra and I find that it really helps. And it's little things like this that you find that really, you know, can work for you. It's a supercharged blend of aromatherapy oils. And these oils really help support your heart chakra and your general well being. Next is the use of positive affirmations. We have the power over our mind, and if we choose positive thoughts, then we can uplift ourselves and we can uplift those around us. I'm such a big believer that I've written two books actually um, for young women, Treasure Yourself and Empower Yourself. With that I, I've made these little positive affirmation cards so I keep these um, little affirmation cards next to my bed at night and so when I wake up in the morning I pick them up and I shuffle them then I just randomly pick a card I'm the creator of my life. Nothing happens by chance. Every thought, every action has a reaction. I choose my words and thoughts carefully as they create my world. 
there you go. Just what I was talking about. So sometimes I'll even write a positive affirmation on my mirror, just as a little reminder. One of my favorite messages is actually a positive message from my mother, and that is shine your light. Shine your light. Finally, I like to trade screen time for green time. So sometimes if I'm feeling overwhelmed or exhausted, I'll simply walk outside and put my feet in the grass and it really helps energize and ground me. It connects me to nature and really helps me be in the present moment. It's a simple and effective tool.